that, uh, you know, we're a uh, FMCG company, a consumer products group company. Um, a lot of our category is actually based on impulse consumer purchase. Uh, when it comes to categories like Quaker, which are most talked at home. Uh, so, you know, if we're not consumer centric, we're actually dead. <laughs> so absolutely, I mean, our um, entire marketing or entire uh, commercial strategy uh, sits squarely on uh, consumer needs and customer needs. And here I mean retailer needs as well. Um, you, you know, it's interesting that you say that. So uh, PepsiCo, I mean, I've been working in PepsiCo for 14 years. And um, uh, for us, um, some examples. So from an organization point of view, uh, consumer insights has always been uh, at the heart of everything that we do in marketing. Um, so for example, if we have um, our, our consumer insights team is, uh, uh, you know, the, the numbers are almost equal to the number of people that we have uh, in our brand teams or our brand uh, equity activation teams. And to me, um, uh, that, that tells me that, you know, the, the importance of consumer insights uh, in our organization, uh, both in terms of, uh, you know, giving us a very ground up view and, you know, helping us stay connected to consumers and also to be almost like a, a ombudsman or a planner, uh, the playing the role of a planner uh, within our marketing team. So I think uh, so consumer insight centrality as a semi-vertical or a semi-function within the marketing function. So that's one example, which has been timeless. But increasingly, what we're realizing is it's not just enough to, for example, even within marketing or even within an organization, uh, kind of in-source consumer insights to a consumer insight specialist team. Uh, so we're also focusing a lot more on uh, consumer immersions uh, for our marketing team, not only our marketing team, but also cross-functional teams. Uh, so we have an interesting practice where uh, people in our marketing team are also cross-functionally uh, can get credits, uh, you know, which gets reflected in their KRAs or their, you know, the performance appraisals at the end of the year, uh, which is a function of, uh, uh, you know, how many, uh, how many hours have they spent with the consumer every month. I'll give you an example. Uh, our CEO, Shiv, um, you know, helps me in running a monthly marketing meeting where we review you know consumer insights plans with him and uh, you know the way we call it is a marketer doesn't have the license to attend the meeting uh, if he or she hasn't spent time with the consumer or in the marketplace with the retailer in the previous month so just just an example of how we've always been a consumer centric organization but increasingly I think we're making it a wider and more cross-functional and we're also ensuring that our brand teams are spending a lot of time experientially immersing themselves with consumers and trade. And I think that's absolutely critical to drive both innovation and engagement on our brands. I oh, totally agree. Um, you know, uh, completely. Um, so one is, of course, uh, you know, you talked about engagement. That itself uh, is, is, is a huge change. So, you know, when I started off uh, my career in the early 90s, it was all about broad broadcast one-way communication. You put out an interesting message. You had a, you know, consumer who was wowed by it. Um, and, you know, possibly you drove awareness, which led, led to consideration, led to purchase. Um, today, the equation has changed completely. Uh, so it's all about engagement. It's about interactivity. It's about using influence. Uh, using social media. Uh, it's about moving marketing far more upstream, closer to the customer, to the retailer, and influencing shopper mechanics in store as much as it is about driving uh, consumption uh, in store. So um, yeah, the world of marketing has changed uh, completely, if you ask me, uh, over the last 20 years or so that I've been in marketing. And uh, even so in India. However, India is, I think, particularly complex and challenging for a marketer because it's actually, and we all know it, we know the whole story about the many Indias. And we do know that you know, you, the many Indias uh, have consumers who are at various stages of evolution. So I think a marketer in India has to be extra agile in managing the more traditional methods of marketing, you know, the one way broadcast communication driving is aspiration amongst, you know, India too. Um, while also driving interactivity, engagement, influencing India One. Um, at the same time, you've got the growth of technology and the influence of mobile, for example, as a medium, a medium uh, in India too as well. So co complex uh, and therefore, you know, simplifying it to the extent as possible and essentially staying true to the essence of your brand and your proposition and what's relevant to the consumer and staying relevant to the consumer at all consumer touch points is what I think is very, very important uh, to a marketer in India.